good day. My name is Sidney Asse Emmanuel, and today we shall be looking at the theme tools and machines. And we're going to be considering the topic woodwork hand tools. At the end of this lesson, we want you to be able to identify, sketch, and describe, and also use appropriate measuring tools for specific purposes. And also to be able to identify, sketch, describe, and use setting and marking out tools. Now, for so many years, humankind has transformed or has been transforming wood from its natural state into various kinds of incredible things. We we'll go to um, the forest, get these trees, cut them, and then bring them down to the workshop, and then work on them with the use of machines and hand tools. Transform them into tables, chairs, wooden doors, wooden windows, cupboards, wardrobes, and so many other incredible things. But today, we're going to be considering just the hand tools that are being used to carry out this woodworking. What are woodwork hand tools? Now, woodwork hand tools are hand tools that are used in woodworking, or you can say used in working on wood. Okay, and they do not require the use of electricity. They don't need power to be able to use them. They are very handy and easy to use. Now, woodwork hand tools are classified into four. We have the measuring tools. We also have setting and marking out tools. We have the driving tools. And also we have the boring and cutting tools. But in this lesson today, we're going to be considering measuring tools and setting and marking out tools. So first, we're going to look at measuring tools. Now, what are measuring tools? They are used to measure length, width, or the breadth of objects. Okay, Measuring tools are tools that are used to measure the length, the width, or breadth of objects objects. They are also made of wood, steel, or plastic. We have them either in wood format, you have them in steel, and also of plastic. Now, measuring tools are of different types. We have the metric ruler and the calipers. First, we're going to consider the metric rulers. So, what are these metric rulers? They have various features, okay? First, it is used to measure length, width, or breadth of objects. Now, it comes in different lengths, such as 150 millimeter and 300 millimeters. It has a straight edge, as you can see, and it's also calibrated. If you look at the metric ruler here that we have here displayed, okay, it is calibrated and also has what straight edges. And then, when it is made of steel, it is called steel rule. We have various types of metric rulers. The steel type is called the steel rule, just like we have displayed here. Why? Because it is made of steel. And then we also have the wooden type, which can also be what? Folded. Now, the next one is the calipers. Now, the calipers come in different types. Yeah, of three types. We have the inside calipers. We have the outside calipers calipers and of course we have the odd leg calipers let's look at them one after the other first the inside calipers now the inside calipers are used to measure the inside dimension of a hole it can also be used to measure the inside dimension of any object within its capacity now if you look at the inside caliper as it is here it has a bolt here that can be adjusted, okay? You can adjust it from this point to that point. That's the limit it can go. And while you're adjusting it, you discover that the legs will be getting wider, maybe something like that, and so on. It has a limit, okay? So it's used to measure the inside dimension of any object within this region. 
anything beyond this level, it cannot be used to measure it. Now, we also have the outside calipers, which is the second type of calipers. Now, the outside calipers are used to measure the outside dimension of any object within their capacity, while the inside calipers are used to measure the inside diameter or dimension, the outside calipers are used to measure the outside dimension of these objects. Now, just like we have in the case of the inside calipers, we also have the same bolt here that can be adjusted from this point to this point. And while you are adjusting that, you see that the legs will be getting wider, maybe something like that and that. So anything that goes beyond this region, we can't use the outside calipers to measure the outside dimension. And then we have the odd leg calipers. Now these ones are used in locating the center of bars and taking distances from the edges of holes. Now, the next one we're going to be considering is setting and marking out tools. It comes in different types. We have the tri-square. We also have the sliding bevel. We have the mitre square. We also have the compass, the trammel, and the marking gauge. Now let's look at them one after the other. First, we're going to be looking at the tri-square. The tri-square is a marking out tool that is made of a stock, which is that, and a blade, that's the blade, fixed at right angles to each other. Okay, so we have that right angle, 90 degrees. And it's used to check the squareness of edges. If you have a square like that, if you want to be sure that the edges are squared, we use the tri-square to check that. It is also used to mark out straight lines at right angles to a given edge. And then we have the sliding bevel. The sliding bevel is made up of steel blade, as we have there. This is a steel blade and a wooden stock, which can be adjusted and set to any angle. So we can actually adjust this point, can actually adjust that okay, to any angle, either 45, 135 uh, degrees, and so on. It is used to mark out lines that cross at any angle. So if you have any angle, maybe 45 degrees, 135 degrees, 180 degrees, and so on, we can use the sliding bevel to check that. It can also be used to check slopey edges. Now the next one is the mitre square. Now the mitre square is made up of a steel blade and a wooden stock and it's fixed at 45 degrees to each other. It is used for setting out and checking angles of 45 and 135 degrees. Now the next one is the compass. The compass is made of steel. It is used for marking out circles and arcs and also marking out distances. Now, if you look at the compass, that's the compass. You fix a pencil, okay, and then we use this point where you have the pin to mark out the center point like that. And then we hold this portion with our three fingers and then we roll it like that to create a, a circle or to create an arc like that. So that's what we use the compass for. And then the trammel. The trammel is made of a combination of both wood and metal. Wood and metal. It is used for marking out large diameters where the compass cannot serve. Now, if you look at the compass, you discover that at some point it cannot go beyond a particular region. But the trammel can go beyond the level where the compass can reach. We have the marking gauge. The marking gauge is made of a steel blade and a wooden stock and is fixed at 45 degrees to each other. It is used for setting out and checking angles of 45 and 135 degrees. 
In summary, what have we discussed so far? We have said that woodwork hand tools are used to create incredible things, okay? The chairs, the tables, the wooden chairs, the wooden tables, the wooden doors, the wooden windows, the cupboards that we have today. We are able to achieve that with the use of woodwork hand tools. And we have also said that they do not require the use of electricity. We don't need power to be able to use these woodwork hand tools. They are very handy and easy to use. And we've also said that we have four classes of woodwork hand tools, which are the measuring tools, setting and marking out tools, driving tools, and then the boring and cutting tools. But in this lesson, we've only considered the first two, which is the measuring tools and setting and marking out tools. Now, let's move on to answer a very simple question. Let's see if you can answer this question. And the question says, which of these is not a woodwork hand tool? I'll take it again. Which of these is not a woodwork hand tool? We have options A, caliper. Option B, compass. Option C, drawing board. And option D, metric ruler. Let's take a minute to see if you can answer this simple question. Okay, so let's answer the question together. The question once again says, which of these is not a woodwork hand tool? We have options A, caliper, option B, compass, option C, drawing board, and option D, metric ruler. From our lesson today, we're able to deduce that a caliper is a woodwork hand tool. A compass is also a woodwork hand tool. So that is not the correct answer. A metric ruler is also a woodwork hand tool. So the correct answer here is the drawing board because the drawing board is not a woodwork hand tool. Thank you for joining us. I'll see you in the next class. In the next class. In the next class. In the next class, in the next class, in the next class.